What up, what up, what up? To talk today about seven ways to be your own wellness coach. Can we just get past the asana in yoga and dig deeper into the real rewarding realms of yoga? Of course, asana, the postures are important, right? West, a lot of times we get caught up in the picture of wellness as only being a physical thing. When when we come to realize that it's so much more, we need to dive down into giving ourselves a nice little nudge in the right direction. 1977, the National Wellness Institute in Stevens Point, Wisconsin, woo woo, goes, so that there was so much more to overall, overall well-being than just the physical that they eventually laid out seven dimensions. Number one, social. Jim Rohn said that you are the sum of the top five people that you hang out with. Who are your top five? Are they not only supporting you, but also challenging you to show up consistently to pull out your awesomeness every day? And hopefully the answer is yes. And if not, it's time to consider your friends. I right? honestly mean that. So reconsider that list. And yeah, maybe harder. Maybe you let go of one at a time. Or you, instead of, you don't have to even formally do it. You just slowly back away from the relationship. But more importantly, that you have friends that socially hold you accountable. Number two, physical. Yoga postures, weightlifting, cardiovascular exercise, eating healthy, done. Number three, spiritual. So asana could be a great extension but what other branches of yoga can you plug into to be something greater than just yourself? What plugs you into the divine consciousness that permeates throughout all of us? What are those 20% of activities that will give me 80% of my happiness? So number four, environment. Much more than do you recycle. Environmental can be the space in which you reside. So is your desk cluttered or conducive to your work style? Everything outside of our body has an effect on who we are on the inside as well. So it all plays a huge key role in that. Number five, career and passion. Deepak Chopra and many others ask, if you had all the time and money and energy in the world, what would you do? It's a powerful question. Is there a career path, something that gets you excited every day to go to work? Hello? So, number six, intellectual. So meditation, reading, my mother loves Sudoku, uh, journaling, drawing, or even board games. Do anything that gives your brain some kind of sweaty workout that your Bikram practice gives you. Number seven, emotional. Do you enjoy music or film that makes you tingle? Are you still having crazy passionate sex with your partner or self? How's the self-esteem? Deepak Chopra says to repeat the mantra, I am fearless. I am beneath no one, and I don't take criticism. All the dimensions of wellness inform and interact with the others. If these ideas resonate with you, I want you to take seven pieces of paper. So seven, one, two, three, four, seven pieces of paper. Don't rip them out of a book, but seven pieces of paper. And I want you to just write down a dimension, each one of the dimensions at the top of each page and create an intangible and exciting intention for the year. So what is your why? Write down the intention for this year, for the rest of this year. Underneath that, write all the tangible actions you can do this year to accomplish this sweet intention. Then go. Take serious action today on what needs it most. And remember, with greater clarity of goals, we increase commitment to those goals. So how clear are you on what you want to create this year? Talk to you soon. Peace.